A colorful bird-like dinosaur that was almost as big as a man, has been identified by scientists. The blue and beige feathered creature, stalked the Canadian badlands of Alberta, 71 million years ago. Its remains had been dug up over the years in what is now Red Deer River Valley, a famous dinosaur graveyard, but it's only now that a true picture of it has emerged. The study suggests that more detailed studies of fragmentary fossils may reveal more, currently unrecognized, species. Paleontologists initially thought the bones of Albertavenator curiae belonged to its close relative Trudon, which lived around 5 million years earlier. Both dinosaurs walked on two legs, were covered in feathers and were about the size of a person. Trudon is believed to be the smartest dinosaur that ever lived. It had a large brain, proportionally bigger than those found in living reptiles. So, it may have been as intelligent as modern birds, which are more similar in brain size. Now comparisons of bones forming the top of the head reveal Albertavenator had a distinctively shorter and more robust skull than Trudon, its famously brainy relative. Project leader Dr. David Evans, senior curator of vertebrate paleontology at the Royal Ontario Museum, said, the delicate bones of these small feathered dinosaurs are very rare. We were lucky to have a critical piece of the skull that allowed us to distinguish Albertavenator as a new species. We hope to find a more complete skeleton of Albertavenator in the future, as this would tell us so much more about this fascinating animal. Identifying new species from fragmentary fossils is a challenge. Complicating matters were the hundreds of isolated teeth discovered in Alberta, and previously attributed to Truton. Teeth from a jaw that likely belongs to Albertavenator appears very similar to the those of Truton, making them unusable for distinguishing between the species. Co-author Derek Larson, assistant curator of the Philip J. Curry Dinosaur Museum in Wembley, Alberta, said, This discovery really highlights the importance of finding and examining skeletal material from these rare dinosaurs. The identification of a new species of true daunted in the late Cretaceous of North America suggests the diversity of small dinosaurs towards the end of their existence is likely underestimated. This is because of the difficulty of identifying species from fragmentary fossils. Thomas Cullen, a PhD student of Professor Evans at Toronto University, said, It was only through our detailed anatomical and statistical comparisons of the skull bones we were able to distinguish between Albertavenator and Truton. The fossils of Albertavenator studied by Professor Evans and his team are housed in the collections of the Royal Tyrell Museum. This is another example of a new species of dinosaur being discovered by re-examining museum research collections. This process continually adds to our understanding of the evolution of life on Earth. The study suggests that more detailed studies of fragmentary fossils may reveal additional, currently unrecognized, species. The full findings were published in the Canadian Journal of Earth Sciences, 